Hi, uh, this is Yadir Rodriguez. I am the partner of technology, privacy, and cybersecurity here in Boca Junior in Spain. And I have worked with some colleagues in an article about the uh, data processing flows and the things you have to take into consideration for m and transactions. Uh, and regarding this article today, I'm going to talk to you about some real tips and practical guidance you should bear in mind when you are conducting assessment for m and transactions uh, from a data protection point of view. So um, taking this into account, you should consider that um, um, the first thing to do in any M&A uh, operation is to conduct a proper due diligence. And for privacy, this means uh, checking if the target company comply with the laws, trying to identify uh, the privacy risk or the potential reputational issues that you have to to face when, when you are conducting the money transaction. And in this regard, uh, important issues to have in mind or to check are the privacy policies and procedures, of course, and it's important to know if they are understandable or not, if they are clear, they are updated, and also um, the processes that the target company have for managing security breaches and exercises the rights, because such processes must be effective and they well, a good idea is to have them tested to know if they are working properly and, and they are truly effective or not, or just paid for, you know. Also, you have to check the record of processing activities and it's very common to have the controller record processing activities, but forgetting about the data processor record. So it's good to check both and also include in the Q&A uh, of the, of the M&A transaction um, the information or collect information about how that record of processing activities is act updated. Also regarding security measures, if you are not able to test uh, the technical measures inside, it's a good option to know uh, if there is an implementation plan or a monitoring strategy within the company and um, to check if there are some versions that is going to give you an idea about how good or not is the, is the implementation plan. Also, regarding databases, which is always a general interesting part in any transaction, business transaction nowadays, um, it is important to know if they are lawful and they have, in the, if the data has been collected in a proper way. So, uh, testing the customer journey when, our, when you are facing digital businesses is a good strategy to detect this compliance with the, the collection process in the database. Also, you have to, to review uh, agreements with providers and with clients, uh, mainly to check if they comply with informational clauses and the risk procedure for testing uh, the vendors. And also, uh, it's always a good idea to, to check any related privacy liabilities or procedures before any control authorities are taken you know, uh, or that the company has been dealing with because this is going to make you um, able to check if you are going to face uh, reputational risks. Once you have the due diligence performed, you also have to identify or manage such potential risk. And in this phase, it's important to work with the acquirer and need to know the strategies that you can, you know, face and the intention they have to face this, this risk. So here is the hard part where you have to, you know, try to estimate the potential impact in, from an economical point of view of any transaction. And here, uh, lawyers, we tend not to, you know, be very risky and, and be more accurate to what legislation says. But the thing is that we can try to make this approach more, um, more accurate or, or try to help the client knowing what is going to be the real, uh, impact and this can be done taking the historical precedents for similar privacy breaches for example in target companies or in companies that have been similar to the target one or analysis uh, conduct a cost benefit analysis to know or compare the potential financial impact of a privacy breach against the expected benefits of the transaction in any way uh, or in the end it's also important to consider the impact of the deal on the data subjects and establish mechanisms to report 
um, the transaction to the data subjects, the clearer you are, the better. And it's also important um, to develop a comprehensive integration plan with the new company because sometimes you are going to have replicated privacy strategies, you are going to have replicated data flows, replicated policies and procedures, and of course, replicated roles. So you cannot up for a common solution is going to be a one-to-one -one solution or you know a, a case by case solution but always you you have to try that the company in the end compliance the most with regulation and and the, the compliance program meets the real needs of the new company not only the acquire or the target one but the new reality that is coming after the new operation and that's it i invite you to read the article for more information thank you very much